Do you remain optimistic that something concrete and positive for both sides will come out of these trade talks? You know, for, maybe for the first time, I kind of like what they're doing this time. They're sending the worker bees over to get to know each other and work in the, in the weeds uh, before the big guys get together and, uh, and say anything out loud. That's the right way to do trade policy. It's almost the right way. The truth is, these guys shouldn't have been on camera either, uh, but uh, they're, they're learning. And uh, maybe when we get to Davos in a few weeks, we'll have uh, President Trump and my old friend Wang Shishan shake hands on something. I don't think there's going to be a material difference in the way trade works, but there'll be a, maybe a material difference in how the governments talk about trade and try and uh, restrict trade. How would you define, John, a China win in these talks? What do they want? Well, the Chinese economy is definitely slowing. It's slowing uh, partly because it's, it's big now and it can't grow 6% forever. It's also slowing because manufacturing is work, moving out of southern China into places like Vietnam. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's continuing. Uh, trade hurts it as well. Not the exports so much because over the last year the dollar is up and the, and the RMB is down enough to really offset most of the cost uh, impact of the tariffs on Chinese goods. Uh, but there are definitely supply chain issues. You know, the uh, supply chains here have shortened and orders have shrunk going into China. So they would like to see something happen. What would be a win if they can get by with just saying, we'll buy a ton more of soybeans or steel or, or whatever, and we'll, uh, we'll let more banks come in and approve the applications that are on the table from guys like J.P. Morgan. That would be a good PR win uh, uh, for, for them because it doesn't mean they'd be doing a lot different than they're already doing. They have legislation on intellectual property that's moving through their own uh, legislature. But of course, China is more of a rule of man place than rule of law anyway, and it's the enforcement that really matters. So I think that uh, I think you're going to see some headway made on, on certain of these uh, uh, product related issues.